Hello, my strong, strong friends, and Happy New Year. I hope that you had a great New Year's Eve. Today's actually a New Year's Day for me. You might be watching this a couple days later, but welcome to 2019. I'm excited about it. This video especially is going to be helpful for those of you who have either nutrition or diet goals or weight loss goals. I'm gonna to try to condense as many solid but easy to implement tips in getting you, you know, your nutrition on track and starting your year off with a healthy beginning, you know? <laughs> if you've been watching my videos recently, I've said this a million times, I love New Year's resolutions. I freaking love them. So if you want to check out any of my recent videos kind of in the same vein of end of year, beginning of year goals and goal setting, I'll link those down below. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. First meal of the day ready. It's kind of late in the day. It's 11.35. Last night was New Year's Eve. Come on, give me a break. The first tip that I have before I show you my meal is to track your food. Notice how I didn't say you need to change what you're eating or track really healthy food. If you're not exactly sure where to start or what to do, don't change anything and just start tracking your food. It'll give you an idea of what you're putting into your body, what makes you feel good, and also some accountability to where you're connected to what you're eating. So today's video is actually sponsored sponsored by my favorite macro tracking app or food tracking app and that is called Lifesum. I think it's adorable. I feel like Lifesum doesn't take itself too seriously. There's really cute icons. Makes it more fun. On my app, you can see my breakfast eggs and egg whites, Kirkland bacon. The macros are actually really good on this in case you live by a Costco and want to try some bacon and then a bunch of veggies in there. Lifesum Premium has a ton of different features that you can try. If you're completely clueless on where to turn next, Lifesum actually has a health test that you can take. Right now, I'm just enrolled in the classic balanced diet for overall health. It will actually rate my meals and rate what I track based on how aligned it is with that diet. Fun way to kind of gamify. Of course, you can do things like scan your food, adjust your macros. They also have recipes and other diets that you can follow on the app. If you're interested, then you can click my link in the description down below and download Lifesum to try for yourself. I think that's it. Thanks, babe. He's washing off the car. Usually that's my job. <laughs> uh, we're getting ready to go up to the mountain. If you didn't know, we're currently in Whistler, British Columbia. It's the best place in the world. If you like skiing or snowboarding, it's the only place in my opinion. Not the only place, of course, but it's amazing. It's so beautiful. So hopefully I'll show you guys more of that. My second tip, think about intermittent fasting or maybe even just pushing back your breakfast. People who very seriously intermittent fast, they will track hours spent feeding and fasting. I don't think that's completely necessary, but if you're having a hard time or just find that you need to get into a caloric deficit, which if you need to lose weight or want to lose weight, then a caloric deficit is gonna be what's gonna get you there. So just eat less calories than you're burning throughout the day. And an easy way to implement that is to just push back your breakfast. Closing that window of the amount of time that you're eating throughout the day will be helpful in getting you there. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this, but it's good to get your five. Five a day is key. If I make it a goal to get five servings of fruits and vegetables, I know that I'm in good shape. Counting macros and counting calories is one thing. I just feel better. I feel more energized when I'm getting my vegetables in. Also, maybe it's a conscience thing. Like Energy aside, it's more digestion and fiber intake. Uh, since we're kind of out and about, I've got some sliced apples, just like mom used to make in her packed lunch. Just kidding, I did like discount student lunch. I paid 45 cents for a lunch ticket and I did school lunch. Did your mom pack your lunch or did you do school lunch? Uh, we used to pack lunches. Nice. I mean, packing is usually more cost effective. I think. Well, so yeah, we used to shop at Costco. So. Yeah, but so for me, I was really poor, so. Can I jump in for a second? What? You, you pronounced oot in a boot wrong. Oot in a boot! Another tip, have some water on you. If you can get one of these, this is a 32 ounce canteen. Keeps shit cold and or hot. Not and, cold or hot. Can't do both at the same time, that would be ridiculous. I'm actually trying not to drink too much because I don't wanna have to pee in a minute and take all this off. You know what I'm saying? Okay, time to go zanzis manzins. Before we start shredding, I must show you. Oh God. <laughs> I fell. 
I mean, would you look at that? Ryan's on skis today. What are those? <laughs> I'm not the most coordinated with the camera and the board, but I mean, would you look at that? Okay, literally, I can't do this both at the same time. Beauty, absolute and utter. snow you know start off the year on the mountain all the gyms were closed today so it was kind of nice to get some active movement in we haven't ate that much caffeine has been important <laughs> stimulants can help aid dieting I say that with a caveat like don't go crazy definitely drink quite a bit of coffee throughout the day I try to stop drinking around this time around four so then I'm not up all night caffeine will help there's another tip Back home, it's like 4:22. Uh, open this. <laughs> it's like 4:22 right now. Starting to put together vegetables. I'm just cutting everything. Ryan's having pizza. I don't tell him I told you. I'm not that great in the kitchen. I don't know how to make a ton of stuff. A couple of dishes that are just like my go-tos. I'm going to make meat spaghetti sauce. So I have ground turkey, this organic edamame spaghetti. The macros here are really good. Won't lie, I would much rather spaghetti. You know, that protein, <laughs> I probably would have regular spaghetti if it was like a workout day. My tip in this segment, find a meal that you can make, it could be any meal. Instead of just making one serving, make a bunch of different servings. I'm just gonna cook all of that ground turkey. That way, tomorrow on like a more kind of office working day, sorry, we're drying our shoes right now. If you can hear the dryer when you are cooking try to think forward and like make a bigger batch I'm sure a lot of you are watching this and like duh people who prep their meals for the entire week I think that's gross <laughs> more power to you, but it just doesn't taste that great try to prep for the day ahead It's not like I prep every single meal also anytime I'm prepping vegetables I'll usually just chop the rest of that knowing that I'm gonna use it later since I have the cutting board out I'm just gonna start to prep that so that I don't have to cut anything later in the day, it's kind of will be ready. And also an additional tip, eat the same things all the time, especially if you can make something like the spaghetti sauce and then have it for four meals. If you're fine eating like the same meal, you might find it easier to diet. Okay, bye. I got my very gourmet edamame noodles. They're under there, I swear. Like a pasta meat sauce. I'm not measuring or weighing out every single thing. It's the first day of the year. I have been taking the holidays off. I haven't been measuring or weighing anything. And typically I try to eyeball as much as possible. I don't think it's completely necessary to weigh out and measure every single thing. But if you've literally never done it or have a hard time judging portion control and portion sizes, then I would recommend trying it, starting with where you are right now, trying to eyeball as much as possible, and then taking like a month out of this year to really be strict and measure everything. Honestly, just for the practice, portion control actually segues into my next tip, and that is to base most of your meals around some sort of protein source. This is especially helpful for those of us who are looking to lose fat or build muscle. Pretty much every choice that I make, I'm usually asking the question like, okay, well, what am I gonna have for dinner? It's usually a question of like, what's gonna be my protein source? So early in the morning, it was egg whites. Now it's my meat sauce. So ground turkey is what I'm using. Tonight it will be chicken, breast, and thighs. I'm trying to just answer that protein question and then build everything around there. Why I thought I should wear a white shirt while eating spaghetti. Cute. 6 p.m. right now, it's so dark outside. It looks like midnight but i wanted to show you this this has not really much to do with eating or nutrition but a lot of people have expressed interest in my bullet journal yeah i don't know if there's anything private in here but this was the 2018 one there have definitely been weeks where i was more creative 
than other ones where I was just kind of like bare bones. But I do really love having a bullet journal. I just love having a sort of agenda to follow. So a bullet journal is similar to that, but you create the layout to whatever you need. I'm starting fresh with a 2019 one. Mine's not too inspiring. There's better people that can tell you that. So since it's the first day of the year, I'm just gonna do some planning. If you're tracking food or if you're planning out meals, a bullet journal is a nice place. Not only have your agenda for the week, but also think about grocery lists. Yeah, because it's not static. You can create a grocery list every week, sort of incorporate that into whatever format you choose or whatever style you choose to fill this out. I love it. That's all. 9.14, I'm actually gonna get ready for bed soon. I just have my last meal. I probably should have had it about an hour earlier than what I'm having right now. It's really nothing fancy. It kind of, it doesn't look sexy at all. This is the salad that I prepped earlier. And then I've been cooking slow roast chicken. I just seasoned the chicken with garlic powder and rosemary. Do those two go together? I have no idea, but hopefully it tastes okay. This is my last meal. I'm gonna punch that into life some, and then I'll put my total macros down below so that you guys can see. And that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully my tips were helpful. I'll put them down in the description below as well so that you can have a written version of them for quick reference if you need to copy that. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, if you liked any part of this, then like this video and subscribe to my channel. All right, bye.